Hello everyone. Thanks for watching this video. So in this video, today we are going to understand that what is the prototype design pattern. Since prototype design pattern is also part of the creational design pattern, so it is very obvious that the prototype design pattern is also talking about the creation of instance. Okay. Now question is that what are the way to achieve the prototype instance? Since this is basically only talking about the instance creation and that we can achieve into the many way. But the as per the rule of prototype pattern, it is more focusing on that if you have any existing instance which is working fine and if you want to do some modification on top of the existing instance so really you need not to create the new instance you just take the old instance meaning that you just make a copy of the old instance and then create a new instance followed by your modification so main motivation of this pattern is that it is not allowing you to create the entire new instance it is helping you to reuse the old instance so basically since we are doing the copy of instance means from old instance to new instance basically we are targeting the copy on top of copy instance we are trying to do the modification so in that case basically in java we can do in many way many way means copying the instance so followed by that we will be having something called copy constructor which is nothing but it is also helping helping you to create the instance or make a copy of instance followed with that you have another concept called cloning cloning is also means deep cloning Deep cloning is also helping you to have a copy of instance. Followed with that, you have serialization and deserialization also, and which is also helping you to have a copy of your instance. So basically, prototype design pattern we can achieve in three way: either using the copy constructor, or by using the deep cloning, or by using the serialization and deserialization. But at the end goal is to have the copy instance and on top of copy instance we are going to modify. So the one line definition of the prototype design pattern is it is basically helping you to reuse the old instance by copying and by copying and on top of the old instance you can have your business logic you can have your modification done and followed with that you can able to create the new instance so it is just helping you to avoid creating the entire new instance okay now coming to the business logic that here we are going to follow so basically the business logic is that there is a, i mean in youtube channel called api pothi it has many playlist like java 8 java 9 microservices data structure array and design pattern so these are all playlist or these are all codes offered by the youtube channel called api pothi okay now there are one existing client client in the means meaning that student who is already taking the course from api pothi okay so basically api pothi created one instance for a student called Taylor and with that instance it is associating all the course that Taylor is exactly taking. Now with the same requirement one more student came called Anna. She also want to take the same course as Taylor was taking. Okay. So instead of creating the instance for Anna separately the requirement is that to reuse the tailored instance and provide the same instance to Anna by changing only name. Okay. So basically you will be having 
two class here one is the api pothi playlist which contain the all the course detail and the api student which is basically the contain the student name associated with the course and this is the client mean nothing but we are going to create the instance so this is the business we are going to build by using the design pattern okay so here it is so as per diagram we will be having a api playlist and in that api playlist we will be having the total number of name of the playlist which is offered by the youtube channel called api pothi so obviously since we have the playlist here so next task is to initialize the playlist so to initialize we are going to use the constructor obviously since this is the class so somehow we are going to print the object also so for that we need the to string method which is by default implementation i need that's fine so here it is fine two thing done so as this video is only talking about the copy constructor so our next task is to create the copy constructor so in order to create the copy constructor basically we are following some rule some rule means the basic rule of creating the copy constructor so here i am creating the copy constructor by copying the old constructor only which is perfectly fine and now i am deleting these are all okay now here i am trying to achieve the copy constructor so i should be having the passing the parameter of the same instance okay and with this instance basically i am trying to initialize so how it is so with the current object okay list dot let's get it from here first is java8 okay just to maintain the order so here it goes java8 comma next one is that java9 comma next one is that microservice comma next one is that data structure comma next one is that array okay and next one is that last one is the design pattern okay so somehow we are able to create the copy constructor here okay so this go like that okay so our first task is done that we have the api pothi playlist which has total this kinds of playlist available so for that i have created the constructor plan constructor which is responsible to do the initialization followed with that i have also created the copy constructor that will be used into the student and this is the to string method so now our next task is to coming to the student class and a student class as per the diagram what basically doing is this name of the student is trying to match with the course or playlist okay so here basically first task is to string a student name okay a student n a m e okay now next thing is that if this class has the should have the reference of api pothi playlist so here it is okay now what i am doing is the same first task is that we are going to create the plain constructor not the clone or copy constructor okay done second task is that we are also going to override the by default implementation of to string so which is also fine now now our next task is to have the copy constructor here also 
So in order to write the copy constructor, so what basically we are going to do here. So we don't need this one and we don't need this one for now. Okay. So here basically we are going to pass the argument of this one obviously since we are doing the copy constructor and with the help of this object okay this dot a student name equal to a student name which is fine now but that has to come from your this instance so from this instance i am taking the help which is fine and here i don't need the current instance okay so whatever i am getting from there that i need to associate with the student name which is for the this class now i also need the student playlist but the good thing with the playlist is that it is already having the instance created so for that we are going to use the same instance like api pothi playlist and here i am going to pass the instance of current object so here it go dot api pothi playlist so i am returning the instead of creating the new instance i am returning the old instance which is available here so we are somehow we are able to manage the cloning also okay now as per the business what the thing is that the teller means the student name is taking the these are all course so first thing is that in from the client class meaning from main class we are going to instantiate the api pothi student so from the client code basically we are going to create the as per the business diagram we are going to instantiate the api pothi student okay so here it go api pothi student equal to new api pothi student okay and here student name is tyler and then here i am going to create the another constructor call i mean with the help of another constructor call api pothi playlist okay and here the course name will be java 8 java 9 and this one is for micro service and this one is data structure and here it goes array and this one is the design pattern and at the end something like that okay so basically what we did is we have the students one or we can say student teller okay so for that i have created the instance okay and this for this teller i am associating his learning these are all course from api pothi and accordingly i want to print it okay so here it goes so if you run this one run as java application then it is see a student name is Taylor and it is learning these are all things from the API Puthi, which is perfectly fine. Now, as I already told you, so this design pattern is basically to, to reuse the old instance. So for this, the same instance I want to use for the another student called Anna. Okay. So to use this one, what we are basically we are going to do is again we are doing the cloning from here. Equal to new student, okay? And here I am going to pass the this instance. 
okay so basically i am trying to copy the old instance and with this new instance i mean whatever the copied instance i am trying to change the student name okay so for this anna uh, so i have changed the student name so if now i am going to print this one the same object actually the object was not got created totally newly the this object is got created on top of the teller if teller will changing here something this object will also got changed since okay i will tell you how so now if you are changing runner java application see teller and anna both are learning the same course meaning that we are able to reuse the code but disadvantage of this one is that if since you this since this object the newly created object got created on top of teller object so if if at all you are changing anything here so this object is also got changed automatically so that's how it will work if you see here see old i have changed it into the old and new got also changes so that is the reason this is called as a cloning or you can say prototype design pattern so this is the basic concept of prototype but while creating this prototype you also have to make sure that if your new old object got changed that impact your new object also since we are doing the cloning okay so this is all about the prototype design pattern using copy constructor now in upcoming video we are going to understand that how to achieve the prototype in the same way like using the cloning concept as well as using the serialization and deserialization concept so basically prototype design pattern can be achieved in three way using copy constructor using cloning i mean deep cloning and then using serialization and deserialization the reason is deserialization is also giving you the one new instance or one created instance okay so here it go yeah thanks for watching this video